Hello guys, I thought I'd take a break from- hold on. Thought I'd take a break from doing, uh, the actual gameplay for you guys. Uh, I did a, a glitch, uh, last night. Let me get to level 30 with max experience, you can see. Um, I did pick the all these skills to be as high as they are. Did pick all these perks. You get 28 perks by doing the glitch. Um, I don't know. I, I might. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I, I could tell you guys, but uh, I, I will leave it to somebody else. Right now, right now, I am at the sniper nest. A little gun case thing, and in it holds a Gobi campaign scout rifle. Much, much better than my sniper rifle. <laughs> this silence, you can see I do have the hand load ammo, the JSP 308. I figured I'd have some fun here at Cottonwood Cove. I am playing this on very hard for all you trolls who think that this is on easy or normal or whatever, whatever you have you. This is on very hard. Of course, I'm not playing hardcore just yet. Very hard. You guys see that. This is very hard. I'm going to infiltrate and destroy Cottonwood Cove using just my silenced sniper rifle. I do have the Tesla beaten prototype, just seeing that. And a, and a 10mm pistol. Watch. My guy's, name, my guy's name on this is the crosshairs, just because he's a sniper. It's really funny.
There is one last guy, like right over there, up at the end. But uh, if you kill him, you kind of fail the Caesar quest. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to save here. Yes, I do have jury rigging. I am instantly vilified with the Legion for that. In the way of quests, I fail the Warrior of the Wrath of Kaisar. Or Caesar, or whatever you want to call him. And I fail render unto Caesar. Oh, no, I don't want to save over that. That'd be one of the worst things I've ever done. Alright, so let's reload. There is a way to take everybody down in the fort except for the guys in Caesar's tent. My glorious recon armor. This guy used barrels and some sticks for his wrap. I'll wait. Are you ready? Oh no, actually no, I am not ready. I think there's something else I can show you guys. Pretty sure you've already seen people do this before. But now the Gobi sniper rifle you yeah, have. No, it's not the swimming part. I bet a lot of people have done that. <laughs> there is some Tesla power armor over here. -ish. You gotta like follow the river down. This is after a recent patch, which kind of screwed me over in one playthrough. Uh, I was going into the Gamora because I talked to the Inculta dude. Uh, I'll, I will call him Mr. Cult, just because, just because he has Cult in his name. He talked to me, he gave me the mark of uh, Caesar, so I left the tops, he gave me the mark of Caesar, I went off, did some other stuff, um, I think this was doing my medical clinic run, where um, I got screwed over pretty hard. Anyway, um, I was going to the Gamora. An NCR trooper glitched right behind me, and he glitched into me. Um, and I couldn't move after that, which was kind of weakish, because I wanted to go gamble. Um, after that, though, uh, this guy, this guy with his uh, incredibly high luck skill, hit 9, he... Went to the Gamora after talking to the NCR trooper. I didn't want that glitch again, so I played through it normally. I did kind of skip everything up to Ring a Ding Ding. I discovered Prim, uh, skipped everything to Ring a Ding Ding. Um, I, I did kill Benny. Uh, I did play at the tops. I went up to like 10,900 chips in poker. I went to the slots. I got the three bars, which put me over the 12,000 mark. Excuse me. I was hoping for the three oranges for the over, I think it was 17,000 mark. I'm not sure. Check my math, people. If you really want to. If you, if you guys really are trolls, go ahead and check my math. And, uh, I didn't get that. I got the bars with 12,000 caps, so I kept retrying, and I got it again. I'm like, eh. I'm not, I'm not gonna get it. I may as well, you know, screw it. I, I, I got, I got this high. Um, yeah, cashed in. Got myself some implants. I'm only missing the intelligence one because my intelligence is 10. The charisma one, which I don't ever buy. And the monocyte breeder, which, uh, it's too expensive for me because I had to buy all this equipment and stuff to show you guys. Tesla armor. Chance are good, I'm mean, gonna have to go into the second episode to show you this and the third to take down the fort. It's gonna be all it's gonna be hectic. Come on, Fallout. Make me run. There are death claws all over here, so 
if you got this far, you may as well turn back. I'm level 30 with my gun. He's at 96. And I don't even think I'm going to survive with... 40 stim packs? No, I'm, I'm surely going to die. Well, I can at least try it. There's two waves of death claws. The second wave includes an alpha male and a mother. If you guys sniped at the quarry, like, if you guys took everybody down at the quarry, all the death claws sniped unarmed, melee, whatever you use. That was really hard for five stim packs and five super stim packs. Well, you have to face two waves of probably like ten death claws. I haven't done this yet. Probably like ten death claws. Uh, an assortment of other death claws. A second wave for like more death claws, harder to beat death claws. Well, anyway, once at the end, your prize for beating all those death claws, not only the experience, which I don't need because I'm level 30, but you get the Tesla power armor. I will be back with episode 2, guys.